In Utah, we serve. We serve our neighbors. We serve our communities. We serve newcomers, those who are known to us, and even those who we don't know yet. I'm Utah Governor Spencer Cox, and I am proud of Utah's legacy of service. Service opportunities throughout this great state have been a key part of my family's life and my political campaigns. Service opportunities are threaded through the work of state employees and leaders in my administration. As Martin Luther King Jr. taught us, everyone can be great because everybody can serve. I'm calling upon Utahns everywhere to join us in celebrating the federal and state holiday of Martin Luther King Jr. Day on January 17th as a day of service, not just a day off work. I've asked Utah service leaders, the USERV Utah Commission, AmeriCorps members and staff, as well as the state's MLK Jr. Human Rights Commission in partnership with the Utah Division of Multicultural Affairs to lead this charge. Together, we're asking Utahns to choose projects aimed at improving their communities and to volunteer in service opportunities that underscore the teachings of Dr. King. Together, we're asking Utahns to help build what Dr. King referred to as the beloved community. We're asking Utahns to volunteer in person and virtually. Just search for MLK Day Volunteer Opportunities on JustServe.org or design your own MLK Day project with tips from the AmeriCorps website. Join us in making January 17th a day to serve and share Dr. King's legacy. Because in Utah, we serve. Principle number one, nonviolence is a way of life for courageous people. This means that when we witness injustice or harm occurring, we make an active choice to disrupt it. My invitation for you this MLK Junior Day is to look within your own community for opportunities to be courageous. Nonviolence seeks to win friendship and understanding. What this means to me is that we're willing to make room for differing views, to celebrate diversity, work across differences, and engage each other with patience and compassion. This MLK holiday, I encourage you to redefine community so that we can make room for each other and honor each other's humanity for the greater good. Hi, I'm Eddie Thompson with the Martin Luther King Human Rights Commission, presenting Dr. King's third principle of nonviolence. Nonviolence seeks to defeat injustice, not people. Our battle, as we know, is not against evil uh, as they are the victim as well, but to educate and stand against evil and injustice. Nonviolence holds that suffering can educate and transform. To me, this means that you are willing to be bold, to be vulnerable, and share in your stories of struggle and suffering to educate others. I encourage you on this MLK Day to educate. Hello, I'm Commissioner Bridget Shears, and I'm speaking on nonviolence principle number five, which says nonviolence chooses love over hate. This principle resonates with me because I truly believe that love can conquer all that ails society today. Hi, I'm Commissioner Caitlin McDonald. Principle six. Nonviolence believes that the universe is on the side of justice. This doesn't mean that we sit back and wait for the universe to make things right, but rather that we never stop believing that our work really will change the world. My invitation to you this MLK Junior Day is to never stop fighting for justice, even when it seems like an uphill battle. We can do it together.